Hello guys in this video we will talk about the 2015 movie The Human Centipede Part 3 The Prison Guard Beat the Boss finishes watching the film about the human centipede with a cigar in his mouth a subordinate white butler comes into his office and is interested in the opinion of the authorities after watching or is disappointed with what he saw and considers the film bad and the conversation is interrupted by a secretary who does not see anything bad in the movie or closes the girl's mouth with a perverted method and sends her life to work. Dwight reports that there is a high flow of prisoners in the prison and in the near future costs will become unacceptably high, as a result of which the governor will change the leadership of the prison if they don't take action Dwight found a solution to the problem but he was interrupted by an aggressive prisoner who threatened the boss with reprisals the warden asked for the inmate's number and promised to return to him later in prison on a police officer attacked prisoner number 178 co who is now being held by other employees or found out that the attacker is right handed and asked the police to turn the prisoner on his stomach so that it would be more convenient for the warden to break his right arm Dwight reminded the boss about medical expenses and he promised the prisoner to continue when their bones healed or went out into the corridor where all the prisoners shouted insults the distraught warden pulled out a gun and started shooting at the ceiling demands respect in the office the man measures the pressure and starts to get angry when he finds high numbers telling Dwight what ways to torture the prisoners the colleague finally tried to tell the solutions for the problems of the prison but this time he is interrupted by the secretary who passes the package was beaten in the mouth my legs that it's a dried clitoris and whiter rub and I receive a call in which an unknown person promised to come in the near future and brutally crack down on Billy the panicked warden hides under the table holding a gun in his hand wild white you call back and find out that one prisoner used the right to call the family and decided to call Bella in order to scare him the man promises to crack down on the Joker and visits the doctor he reports serious heart problems and the need for tests, but instead, the boss in a rude manner demands good news from the doctor under the threat of dismissal, the man is forced to say that everything is fine with his health or enters the cell where the prisoner who called earlier was lying tied to the table, police officers bring warm water, because of which they aggressively beat them, send them because he ordered hot water to torture the joker, then the secretary comes in and reports on the governor's imminent visit. The warden understands that the likelihood of dismissal is high and requires the secretary to seduce the head of administration in order to later sue him for harassment. In addition, she is interested in whether they beat him to be present at the execution of the prisoner, which he refuses because he believes after injection through a childish performance. The police return to the camera with three buckets of boiling water and the beater begins to take revenge on the prisoner an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth the warden removes a rag from a burnt blistered face and meets with the governor who practically did not pay attention to the secretary in a revealing outfit the conversation begins with an unsuccessful proposal beaten who tried to treat the governors to dominican cigars but the man refuses giving preference to cuban ones in his opinion they are the best in the end the governor scolds beaten and considers him a bad boss because he uses violence against prisoners mindlessly port the economy of the prison and gives the warden two weeks to correct the situation in the worst case he and his accountant Dwight will be fired or screaming in rage while colleagues are trying to calm his boss he intends to do as he wants and orders to take all the prisoners out into the street over the loudspeaker beat tells the screaming crowd like his grandfather castrated more than a thousand pigs and makes it clear to the prisoners that the same fate awaits them after hearing the crowd subsides and the warden chooses the first victim the staff takes the prisoner to the cell where after a short conversation, they beat him, tears his pants and cuts off the warden's testicles, gives them to the toilet to give them to the cook for lunch and then he smears his face with blood, getting pleasure from this in his office, they beat him using the secretary and once stopped fulfilling all his desires, the warden reminded him of the father of the girl whom he once pulled out of prison, lunch came and they beat them bring fried parts of the prisoner. After that he visits the infirmary where he tells the doctor about the large-scale castration of prisoners that will begin tomorrow the doctor works in prison with a distraught guard because of the opportunity to practice without a license you will be a prisoner castrated by him in the hope of seeing him completely submissive, but the man, on the contrary, accumulated hatred and threatened to kill Howell, after being released from prison, the beaten, who had lost his mind, began to choke the prisoner, the man's heart stopped beating and the warder asked to save his life in the heat. Everyone around understood that it was not the weather. Dwight asks the doctor to look at the human centipede, thus hinting at his plan. The desperate beat enters the office with a weapon and intends to kill everyone, including himself, because he sees no reason to live on because the castration did not bring the result he needed. Dwight on antics the authorities finally decide to tell about their plan. The man wants to sew the mouth of the ass of another prisoner and do it with each one thus creating a huge human genti. Peggy with a single digestive system according to the accountant this will solve all the main problems of the prison prisoners re they will fight among themselves and stop attacking the police. Moreover, 
Each of them will kneel in front of the warden or will not take a colleague seriously even after Dwight invited Tom Six the director of two parts of films and centipedes who are sure that such a thing can be arranged from a medical point of view after some while the beaten drinks a lot of alcohol in the prison cafeteria and is about to leave, but suddenly prisoners get out of the cages or squeeze and cowardly beg for mercy, promising freedom to those who are sitting, the prisoners want revenge and make a hole in the liver area after which one of the crowd used it to satisfy themselves at the same moment the warden woke up completely not realizing whether this dream was a reality checking the integrity of his body or they call and inform about the arrival of volume 6 after a terrible dream the warden decides to talk to him Dwight is very happy to meet with the director and talks about one of the series of southern couples which would the human centipede beat interrupts Dwight's fan admiration and gets down to business there talks about a surgeon from Amsterdam with whom he consulted before filming the first film he provided the director with a detailed report and the centipede has all the necessary information in it and the volume passes it to the prison doctor who considers the report reliable possible complications in the form of infections in the healing process. But in general, the doctor is confident in success or admired by the conclusions, experts call the centipede an ideal correctional system, the warden decides to show both parts of the film to the prisoners and then inform them of the same fate, most of them reacted negatively to such a work and when heard from the guards about their future caused a riot beat with Dwight locked themselves in the office and waited for the help of the special forces outside the prisoners severely beat the secretary and broke the door the guard jumped out of the window because they managed to break the door but on the same the moment the heavily armed special forces arrived when the prisoners were placed in cells or used a tranquilizer rifle to put everyone to sleep for the operation those serving their sentence ran in different directions refusing to accept their future but everything was useless or did not find a place because of enjoyment before the operation in the infirmary the warden tells to those who woke up to the prisoners all the details of the operations the doctor informs the beat that right now five surgical teams are working to the fullest one of the prisoners has diarrhea and the beat decides to sew a castrated man to his ass he begs the guards to give him a chance and not to make him part of a human centipede nobile only and did that he enjoyed begging for him the doctor reports a prisoner from may 100 he will not be able to adapt to centipedes which is why they beat him without hesitation kills him further too and asks to send the beaten secretary to a normal ward. But instead they beat him using her body as dead while the girl was unconscious after a few days there were only 16 unoperated prisoners White Dwight rehearsing the next meeting with the governor the warden is convinced that the head will consider him a hero after he sees a human centipede from the prisoner soon they beat them in form about the arrival of Tom Six the director cannot wait see a real human centipede if everything goes well. Then in this case he will become rich and famous or spends there and in the operating room where the director can watch the real operation the next day your enters the office with good news the centipede is almost finished at the same moment the ruin comes to then he doesn't understand why the employees look happy, dismisses them or stops the governor and reports a fine that will solve all problems, after which he takes the men outside the shocked governor cannot find words at the sight of a huge human centipede what is it for crap the head is at a loss and so finished asking Dwight to explain everything in detail he talks about the benefits of a human centipede door interrupts and tells his idea of backslash u 200 b backslash u 200 combining prezoers in a circle and then the costs will become even less eat it only cheap vitamins and inject ions then beat leads the governor to an author section where there was a human caterpillar program created specifically for a life sentenced prisoners, their arms and legs were amputated, and after they sewed their mouths to their asses, the warden also demonstrates the prisoner to whom he had his sentence and therefore was disconnected from the human centipede device, there is practically no except for a few small scars at the junctions with other people according to the warden, these traces will make people think before committing crimes, as something terrible awaits them in prison. The governor, after everything he saw, discreetly made it clear to his subordinates that this is a complete pipettes, moreover, for what they have done. It is possible about the death penalty the governor left the prison and the beat intends to kill the Dwighty but at that moment the doctor comes in and the warden kills him he approaches the accountant but he is saved by the returned governor the man says that the human centipede is exactly what America needs thanks to this he will be able to become president the happy governor leaves and beatty hugs the resulting Dwight during this, the warden kills a colleague with a shot in the head, and then, with a bare torso, goes up to the tower to scram at the centipede into the loudspeaker, this trash movie ends for today. All the guys do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss new videos thanks for watching.